Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, hope everything is going well and if you are new here, welcome, my name is Melissa and for today's video I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing glittery plum makeup look so to begin, I'm gonna contour my brows first using a concealer today I'm gonna use a full coverage concealer to do this step and also a concealer brush this will help me to define more my brows and also not make it look too harsh when I truly define my brows using pencil or any product for eyebrows to fill in so the next step is to blend it out so I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender the same blender that I'm gonna use later on to blend my foundation so here I'm using Prolonger by MAC in the shade NC15 Next, I'm gonna use this eyebrow pencil by Benefit Cosmetics and this is the shade number 4 and I'm gonna fill in my brows using little strokes to kinda mimic the hairs and next I'm gonna use a spoolie to blend my brows and make everything look natural as possible To start off this eye makeup look, I'm gonna use a very good eyeshadow base. Today I'm gonna use P. Louise in the shade number 05. And I'm gonna apply all over the eyelid using the same concealer brush as before. And I'm gonna remove the excess product using the tip of my fingers just to blend it out even more. For my transition shade, I'm gonna use Tartelette palette by Tarte and I'm gonna use this kind of mauve shade all over the eyelid so I'm gonna focus this color into my crease and also in the other corner of my eyes and blend it out in circular motions using a big fluffy brush and what is left in the brush, I'm gonna apply in the lower lash line Next to highlight, I'm gonna use this cream eyeshadow below the brows just to kind of highlight a little bit and also to help to blend this crease eyeshadow, which is my transition shade. So I'm gonna use a normal shader brush to apply and next I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick as my eyeshadow. Today I'm gonna use the metallic matte liquid lipstick by George Cosmetics and I'm gonna apply all over the eyelid using the same fluffy brush that I applied my crease shade so I'm gonna apply a little tiny bit all over the eyelid and also in the lower lash line smudging it out, adding the product a little at a time just to make sure everything is well blended and also that I have a good coat of this liquid eyeshadow no, liquid lipstick in my eyelid as my eyeshadow base and today I'm using this liquid lipstick because I really like this color and as it dries matte so it's totally fine also as I use it this liquid lipstick I don't have to use any glue or eyelash glue to stick the glitter that I'm gonna use today so I'm gonna use the pink glitter by MAC right on top and I'm gonna apply using the same fluffy brush that I was applying my crease shade and also this liquid lipstick because I want just a feel glitters effect in my makeup look so I just have to apply my fake lashes and a little bit of mascara and all done but if you don't like to use fake lashes you can just apply lots and lots of mascara and now let's move on to my skin I'm gonna spray all over my face this peachy product by Too Faced Cosmetics and this to make everything looks matte and also I'm gonna use the Locket foundation by Kat Von D all over my face, neck and chest just to balance the color so I just have to use a little tiny bit because this is a full coverage foundation and to apply all over my face I'm gonna use the same blender that I was blending my concealer first that I applied around my brows
To highlight and cover my dark circles and little imperfections, I'm gonna use the Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. So I'm gonna apply just a little tiny bit, again using the same brush as before and also the same blender. And I'm gonna apply this concealer under my eyes, in my forehead, in my chin and just blend it out. Okay, so now for today's look, I'm gonna use one of my favorite makeup techniques. Before I set everything using a translucent powder, I'm gonna just kinda contour and apply blush in my face and also highlighter before I set everything so it will stick in my foundation and will look so good, especially in the pictures and also if I do any little mistake, I can blend it out again before I set so to do this, I'm gonna use a big face brush and I'm gonna apply this contour and also this bronzy shade everywhere I want to contour and sculpt my face. So I'm gonna be adding this powder contour a little at a time because as I said before, I don't wanna have any harsh lines in my face but if I do any little mistake, I can kinda do everything looks amazing by just dabbing the foundation blender again all over my face now with the same brush i'm gonna apply this pinky blush in the apples of my cheeks this is the blush palette by sigma beauty and i really love this palette by sigma beauty because the formula is amazing especially to do this technique that i'm doing here so i'm using the blush palette and also the sculpt palette to sculpt and highlight my face also, all the brushes that I'm using are from Sigma Beauty. You can use my code MELISSASB for 10% off in sigmabeauty.com. I'm gonna link down below for you guys. And now I'm gonna use the high cheekbone brush to highlight my cheekbones and also the highest point of my face and the lightest highlighting shade from the Sculpt palette. Oh, I also have a favorite brush set with Sigma Beauty. I'm gonna link down below for you guys in case you're interested to see. And after I done this step, the highlighting step, I can just set everything in my face. And to set, today I'm gonna use a translucent powder by Laura Mercier, one of my favorites of life. And to apply this powder all over my face, I'm gonna use the Spotlight Duster brush. This is also by Sigma, and this one especially is one of my favorite brushes by Sigma Beauty. So I really recommend for you to try this out. It's an amazing brush to apply any powder, blush, contours, or even bronzer in your face. And to conclude this makeup look today, I'm gonna use the Lip Contour by Melt Cosmetics and also this liquid lipstick by BH Cosmetics. This is a perfect nude shade, I really like it. And the formula is so good, looks so beautiful and amazing your lips. And this is how I finish this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think about this makeup look and also what you wanna see next here in my channel. I would be so happy to know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you did, and also spread it to your friends. I will be so happy, and I see you later in the next tutorials. Bye!